they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. What is going on, the fine men and women that watch my videos? Sorry I've been absent for a little bit. I know a couple people hit me up about that, but I have been super busy. I have finals this week and next week as well, um, but I'm back. I'm going to grind out a video for you tonight, open up a Red Bull, and I'm ready to go. Hopefully you enjoy it. Yeah, I'll just crowd this and then... Uh run this tower. Just one more turret on the back. Yeah, the door on left side. It's just normals, but I mean, it's whatever. I don't want to scuff this flak up. I'm probably going to die here. Oh gosh, this is, seems like a lot. I'm dead. There's no way I can run this. Oh my gosh, that was so bad. You're good. Yeah, you're hardly getting shot. Yeah, there's just a couple left. Alrighty, guys. Got my, uh, my kit back from my ill-fated flak run there. And, uh, we are going to... We popped inside this base. We're gonna give a little check now. Gotta fix up my flak first, though. So always the first thing to do when you get in a base is fix your flak up, make sure you're ready to go in case you need a PvP. I think these guys are online. Kind of weird, they were just, I don't know if they're out farming or what. But, uh, I mean, maybe not. The timer was, was pretty recent. We got um, some furred eggs. Not bad, Anki and Stego. Bit of med brews. A vault there. Rebitussa right here. And uh, a lot of primitive climbing picks, which is not what you want to be using. Alright, we got we found ourselves some hide and fiber though, so I'll flick up uh, fix up my flak. Pretty average looking base here. Maybe we'll find some hidden gems in it. Got that captain's hat. You know I'm all about that roleplay on this channel. Rip my nice shield. Might be able to fix it actually. If they have a bit of, bit of crystal maybe? Bit of crystal, bit of poly. Ooh, nice. Some uh, free cryopods. It's not that cool. I mean, they're pretty much as cheap as like grenades. You just need a rep to make the cryopods. Make some grapples up in here. Yeah, and just, uh, yeah, I don't really want anything else. What's this guy got on him? Taxidermy tool. Isn't that like, uh... Oh, that's weird. You can, like, you can, like, make a statue of your dino, I think. I guess I'll take it. Some spark. Uh, yeah, look at this soft poly. They've just been here. Yeah, eight soft poly, and this spoils, and I think... 20 minutes a stack. So yeah, they've they've just been here. Um, some nice cooked prime. That's a weird, a weird statue that freaks me out. That's what the taxidermy tool is for, I think. I'll actually take all this cooked to me. I soaked a little bit with my reaper, so it's pretty uh, it's pretty clapped. Get myself a nice cold drink while I'm at it. Full water. Yeah, I'll throw this this cooked meat in my reaper. It heals us super quick. 
kind of a scuffed uh, Grief Reaper, but that's okay. We'll see. Uh, pretty much it in the base. Um, I'll pop open these vaults, and then we'll... I think this one will actually be better. That's a crafting vault. Um, ooh. Salami boys. I've seen so much stuff crafted by them. I don't know who that is. Oh, yuck. Look at all those prim shotguns. Prim assault rifles. A 12C4. Um, ooh. It's not terrible. Usually don't use shotguns that aren't 298, but it's not the worst. A lot of shotgun ammo, a lot of flamethrower ammo. Um, some scuffed BPs. What I will do is take all of these batteries. Pretty useful. I guess I'll take this Fabby. Lobster doesn't want it. Sniper ammo. I have these gilly BPs. Oh, they're horrendous. Um, I mean, that was worth. Got the C4, got the Fabby. Look at that. Full 15 C4 with the C4 detonators. At this point, I don't really want to take, like, Furt Stego eggs because I know that they're not as good as ours. But I'll take them anyway. Just to be disappointed when they hatch. I'm used to it by now. Check the vault one more time. That freaks me out, man. Can I take this guy as like a trophy? I, I'm gonna put him up in our base as a, as a trophy. I'm gonna have a wall of these. Every, every time I find someone with these, I'm gonna take it. What the heck? He like switched form. He like went from standing up with his hands up to that weird form. And that's pretty much it. I'll make more grapples and then uh, I have a lot of structures in here. Well, not a lot, but a decent amount that I will take. And I actually found a transmitter not that far from here. So we're going to try and get some of this loot out. Something weird happened in the patch notes. I don't know if you noticed. It was like uh, the last big patch. It was they took out body bags. Which if you don't know what that is and you're not really familiar with ARC. Basically it's just a way to store infinite weight into items. So you have like 300 slots in like a person's body. And you can have as much weight in it as you want. And you used to be able to drag it around. And like, it made farming resources really easy. But they took that out of the game. And I'm pretty sure that they also took out the ability to like drag overweighted people. Which makes getting loot out just super difficult. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm pretty sure that that is the case. Which is really unfortunate for uh, for people when you're trying to get loot out and you need to like move away from the base, go to a drop or like an obelisk. So we'll see. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the case, but I guess we'll see. We got 28,000 metal here. A little bit more to go. Very uh, very worthwhile raid. Get some spark up in here. All right, and I'm black capped, so I'm slot capped. All right, I'm gonna eat these narcotics now and uh, see if this is this is real. So I'm 35,000 pounds. So like, obviously he couldn't drag me in like real life. I mean it's Ark, but like, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. It's Ark. Looks like he can't even drag me. Yeah. So this is gonna be a chore getting me to the transmitter. All right, so he punched me off the edge, and I parachuted all the way over here, and I can't really move, um, and there, neither of us have a light pet, so that was not, that was a 5 IQ play by us, no light pet. These nameless are just going crazy here, and I need to make it to that transmitter.
Alright, so the server just saved. I don't want to use my shotgun anymore. It's going to reset. So it looks like we're just going to try and use the Reaper. Hopefully I can make it. This actually makes getting loot out very difficult if you... Oh gosh, I'm getting all moved around by the Reaper's tail. It makes getting loot out like super difficult um, because you can't drag overweighted bodies anymore. You just have to like punch them. So he's going to have to punch me all the way to that transmitter up there. With all this stuff attacking. I just punched that nameless to death. So close, come on. Oh no, the Anki, oh my gosh, the Anki wants some action. Getting smacked around by all these things. Pretty fortunate that these don't do like any, any damage, hardly. They like hardly scuff your flak either, so I can totally tank it. Come on, baby. There we go. So this is what we're getting out. I think about like 40,000 metal, some spark powder, some structures. And uh, so not a bad bad haul at all. And actually did my, I think my shotgun is reset, which is unfortunate. All right, what is going on guys? I just want to show you uh, this quick little raid I'm going to do. So in Aberration, a lot of people think that like, since you can't use grapples, that you can't like blow things from the bottom like this. What we've got here is like a small base just on cliff platforms. And I'm just gonna be blowing it up today. You just shoot a, a zip line like from the ground to their structure and you can actually zip line on their structure. And pretty, pretty awesome way to raid things. People need to put like turrets under their cliff platforms. You can't just have it above because you can actually get on underneath pretty easy. A lot of people didn't know this, so I just wanted to show you really quick. Alright, so I'm falling down. There we go. And so the reason I'm blowing this up is because uh, these guys' name, like their tribe name, is Friends of, and then the name of one of the guys in a tribe that we're fighting. So, I mean, I can't be having that. I don't want his friends on the server. So we are blowing their little farming station up here. I think I just blew their vault as well. A few uh, few fridges and other things. We'll see what we can get our hands on. So here's the vault. Uh, not really much. Uh, pistol. A lot of taming gear mostly. And I don't really want a ton of this stuff. I mean, I'll take all the simple pistols. I like those. Whips, not bad whips. Passive infamy. That's a, it's a sight. And then uh, pretty much it. I'll take the whips, uh, just some generic stuff. All right, just want to show you that uh, quick tactic, really quick if you didn't know that. Easy way to blow from the bottom bases on Aberration, just using zip lines. All right, and that's going to be it for this video, guys. I know it's kind of a shorter one. Hope you'll forgive me for that. I, I have been really busy, like I mentioned in the beginning. And I will be getting a video out, video out um, Sunday morning as well. So the weekend video grind for you guys. Hopefully you did enjoy, leave a like if you did. I'm getting a lot of uh, newer people to the channel, which I appreciate a lot. Um, if you want me to try other games, I will if enough people would like me to. Leave me a comment or something like that, and I'll have to talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks for checking us out.